What's going on people? We are Tottenham TV here. Just a quick update to bring to you today and a really, really interesting one. And it's about Luis Campos. Um, and apparently, according to reports in France, RMC Sport, Luis Campos has asked to be liberated from his contract with Lille, uh, which is very interesting because when Jose first came to Spurs, everyone was talking about Luis Campos, about how he could be following Jose to Spurs, you know, because they've worked with each other before. Jose came out and stated how they're really good friends and they love working with each other. The last job that they did work with each other was at Real Madrid. Um, and since then, Campos has really started to make a big name for himself in the world of football, um, starting with his, his job at Monaco and then moving on to his job at Lille. I think he's done brilliant jobs at both of these um, clubs. And, you know, just just to name a few of the these players that he's unearthed, starting with Kylian Mbappe, um, Bubakari Sumare, Nicolas Pepe, who's at Arsenal now. Um, those were at Monaco, uh, at Lille, obviously, of not Mbappe, but and then Benji Mendy, Thomas Lamar, Bernardo Silva, Fabinho. You know, these are all players that have gone on to make themselves very well known in the Premier League uh, and in a world football. You know, Kylian Mbappe, probably the best well known footballer in the world at the moment. Um, like I said, Nicolas Pepe, 72 million to Arsenal. He's made a lot of money for these clubs. Um, and then there's also players that are kind of making their way up now. And Victor Ossiman, who's heavily linked with Spurs in the last couple of weeks. Rafael Lau, who's, who was sold for £24 million. Zeki Celik as well. So there are, really are a lot of players here who, who have been earthed by this guy. Um, it's not alien to Spurs about having a sporting director in as well as... You know, we had from Paul Mitchell to Damien Camoli to Franco Baldini to Frank Arneson. You know, it's no stranger of Daniel Levy to kind of get a sporting director in. And, it, and it's no secret that since Paul Mitchell has left that our recruitment has literally gone down the hill. So I think that it would be an absolutely sensational move if we could get Lewis Campos in. And it does kind of fit into the bill of what Levy's trying to do. Because what Campos does, he looks at young talent, he unearths them, he brings them in, he makes them better with a big sell-on value. And usually these clubs do sell on these players for big, big values after signing them for pretty much next to nothing, uh, very cheap. So it fits in with kind of Levy's strategy. I think it'll be a match made in heaven, Lewis Campos and Daniel Levy at the same club. I really would. But the stumbling block on this could be that um, it's rumoured that he has three years left on his contract and it's not just him it's the whole scouting company that he runs um, all contracted to Lille so there could be a few stumbling blocks on here but half the Lille staff did leave for Tottenham and follow Sacramento um, when he left to um, to take Jose's role as his number two so look it's not completely out of the question but there are going to be a few stumbling blocks but like I said before if we can get this guy he will unearth some gems for us and finally will start to be active in the transfer market again. And yeah, and if we can prize him away from Lille, we are literally prizing one of the most highly rated scouting figures in the game. It's just as simple as that. And like I said before, we, ha we haven't had a sporting director since Paul Mitchell, who was placed in gardening leave in 2017, who's now at RB Leipzig and doing an absolutely sensational job there. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about these rumours about Campos? Would you welcome at that club? Because I think he would be an absolutely sensational acquisition. Like I said before, you know, unearthing gems, Falcao, Bernardo Silva, Jao Moutinho at Monaco, Mbappé, Pepe, James Rodriguez, Anthony Martial, Fabinho. The list literally goes on of world-class talent that this man has unearthed. So... I think it would be a sensational move to Tottenham. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. And as always, come on you Spurs. <laughs>